Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gaming Token here, welcome. After a, a rather long-ish season break, it's uh, high time for me to get back to making a series. Now, uh, I was thinking about what achievement to do, and I decided to do a sprint achievement. The difficulty is of course hard, now we are going to do the Navigator achievement as Portugal, which requires you to... Uh, have a province in Africa, India and Indonesia by 1500. Since we have only 56 years to get it done, it's not the easiest achievement. And let's begin. I have done a few practice runs, or at least, well, one real practice run, to see what is the challenge is going to be. And I was quite surprised with uh, what I had encountered. It was a little different than I had initially anticipated, but you'll see what the deal is. Now here we are, this is Portugal, 1444. Our budget is not too good, that trade income is uh, inflated, it'll be lower. Now these are our rivals, we want to rival Morocco, Tunis and Granada. Our goal is to get Castilla's ally, which should be easy uh, this is really good I hope that Alfonso doesn't die expansionist is a great trait to have uh, Portugal is a nation uniquely suited for colonization even in the early game and that is mostly because of this from this is mandate of heaven feature and for 800 splendor Portugal can buy uh, the colonial growth uh, perk which gives it plus 50 settlers per year. And considering the fact that you start with 25 from tech, it's just crazy. Now this is what we're going to do. We're going to take four trade ships, protect trade in Sevilla, of course, send this one on pirate mission. We have an explorer, so let's go and explore but first we'll detach uh, trade ships explore west african coastline uh, these guys can stay in lisbon we don't need that port we don't plan to have a war on iberian peninsula anytime soon now mission choice uh, tangiers is a trade center for my home trade node and I'll fight these guys sooner rather than later, so perhaps it's better to get it done ASAP. Plus the reward for this particular mission is amazing, 200 admin. Yes, please, right? So, uh, we'll ally Castile, we'll pull them into war against uh, Morocco to get Tangiers and weaken them. And it all leads to a point. Now, let's start with uh, Missionary excuse me, with Theologian, get Advancement of Religion, and uh, we'll fire, excuse me, we'll fire him instantaneously. This is nice. I suppose this is going to be useful. Oh, okay, this is amazing, a half price uh, global tariffs, but I, I think we'll have to get it, actually. Uh, bum, land force limit. Yeah, we need actually one advisor of every kind for the start of the game. Uh, let's conserve our money, protect trade, thank you. And uh, I suppose that... Uh, it's a really good general, by the way. Earl of uh, Avaranches is a great commander. Capable and... Amazing at this stage of the game. Bam! We should be able to cash in positive income, I suppose. Yes, we should be able. So uh, let's get down to business. Now, what other alliances can we secure? Known other, I'm afraid. Aragon is our rival, which is unfortunate. We'll have to create a spy network in Morocco, our rival immediately. See, the thing is, we need uh, 
Oh, let's do it like that. And I think that's our force. No, we're over force limits, so we'll have to deal with that, but that's in a moment. Uh, perhaps we could actually eliminate one unit. I know that's not exactly the best way to use our cache. Explore West African coastline. Now, uh, the thing is, we are only playing until 1500. So, yeah, we don't need that guy. Uh, actually, we'll get an Inquisitor. We need an Inquisitor, actually. Uh, I know that we shouldn't really be developing admin. It seems counterintuitive. But there's a point to that madness. And you'll see it in just a moment. Of course, we're going to send a missionary here. And we are actually going to give it uh, enforced religious unity edict, increase autonomy. We don't want any rebellions. That is not to our liking. This should go relatively fast. We want to get that sweet, sweet religious unity up and running. Now, I suppose we should be able to declare war. No, we, sh we shouldn't because we have a regency council. And I, of course, forgot that. Uh, not the best way to use your resources trust me on that one rather bad policy by me <coughs> now i need to invest just a little bit to make do and i suppose that's enough excellent so france didn't go to war with england the english decided to give maine back <coughs> 666 for poland interesting good luck with that i hope it won't bite you in the ass though i believe you won't really have time to find it out because we have plans ambitious plans that is and those plans not include uh, checking out poland we're going to go rather fast cape verde island there are no natives here so we can take free prestige this is nice i suppose i think this is going to be our first colony Jolov would be a nice uh, springboard towards a uh, cape, but we'll see. We only need one province in Africa, one in India and one in Indonesia. So right now we can uh, mothball this navy as uh, our dear... Uh, excuse me, actually, is this the best? I think this is the best we can do right now. We have the claim, let's keep on working on that. Uh, declaring on Granada, Tunis, and uh, actually this would be amazing. Uh, the thing is, we really need points. We need to get that operational running and converting. Uh, afterwards, we're going to, of course, fire this guy and get uh, this guy. Because we need uh, other diplotech as fast as possible so that we can start uh, colonizing, right? So, first thing first, Renaissance is coming, we need those objectives for Portuguese colonial growth and higher development colonies, because this is nice. And uh, that means that we need to get that 800 Splendor ASAP, we'll see how fast we can actually get it. We have mothballed the majority of our navies, we don't really need them. And come to think of it, it's a mistake on my part. Let's demand some points. Let's call a diet and demand military. Now, uh, with burgers, we actually want to give this to them. And we can give islands to the clergy. That's not, not that we care about them in the slightest. Nobility, I suppose. Suppose that this 13 development is good enough for the clergy. Yes, it is. And right now, I think we can get a better deal than this out of the burgers. So, free money and diplo points, which we need dearly. Uh, best deal we can get, I suppose. So let's hope that Infante Pedro will 
be up and running ASAP. Now let's get a ship done. We need those heavies. As unfortunate as that might seem, we do need more heavies for our navy. And here it is. Two years build time. Amazing, right? Early game. Typical early game problems. So, since uh, this does generate more trade power, I think it's warranted to do protect trade. It will increase by 0.8 ducats. Let's see if we make even. We won't actually. So, we'll have to call it back at. That wasn't the best deal. <laughs> now, this is lucky. Usually, Portugal has a tendency to get rather bad kings. But this one is brilliant as an heir. Let's hope he doesn't go hunting, right? So, time has come to take these bo bad boys. Repair our ships. Get this force operational and running. And declare on Granada. They are my they are my rival, aren't they? Oh we have a truce, of course, forgot about that. Until when 1449. So that is a while. Meanwhile. Well, this is complicated. We don't want to fight the entire uh, Maghreb. It would mean our defeat, so we'll have to cancel on that. And just get back to our cowardly ways and pinching the money. As soon as we get done with this... Well, that's more money, or oh, that's stability, but stability is cheap at this point. Yes, it's cheap. But we need that a little more right now. And investing in stability is really tempting because we could get uh, prosperity, right? And it does increase missionary efficiency. So this guy will end uh, in 1450. Uh, after we begin our war with Granada. And right now, this is how the achievement looks. You are waiting. We don't want to fight this entire coalition. It's a little too much for us. Let's improve our uh, relations with these guys. And frankly, this is all we need to do. We sit on our ass at this side of Atlantic. We don't make any moves, any sudden moves in particular. We just... Sit Excuse me, yes, we are supposed to cancel it as soon as it we can. There you go, beautiful. And this should increase our ink, yes, definitely. So, sometimes uh, it's not a good idea to get an edict running. Now, uh, the question with Renaissance is how quickly will it spread? Because I'd love to get Renaissance, of course, but it might be a problem. And then these are rivals, so Aragon will be cock-blocking us, as well as France, so that might take a while. So I think we can reach tech 4, perhaps get some buildings up and running. Uh, definitely prestige hit at this point, we need points more than anything, really. And yeah, the waiting. Oh, damn it, they had the castle's belly uh, sooner. Well, let's just hope they don't get smashed uh, completely. Military access. This is such a sweet province. I'd love to get Sevilla all for myself, but uh, that might just not happen. We'll have to see uh, what the Granadans decide to do. But uh, the best course of actions right now we we need to start maintaining our troops and i think the way we're going to get this done is attack kill move siege one province how's the siege going not too well the granadans know how to defend 
Uh, I should be the one to know. After all, I defended Granada from a lot of I enemies by early game and then doing the Reconquista, but I'm rambling. Let's do some devastation. Uh, for a poor nation like myself, this is in fact the best way to get uh, back my money. We need it. We need upfront investment. Excellent. Let's declare. Where is my... Finally, that took ages. Humiliate a rival. Go to Toledo. Take one of those provinces. And afterwards, we will, should be fine. We should be able to get uh, show strength, peace resolve, which will mean that we are, in fact, getting 100 points of each point group, uh, some power projection, which should be nice. There we have stack wiped them. We'll take one province so the Castilians can't finish them up completely. Though perhaps this one would be better. Can we risk it? Uh, I think we can't. We need to take it and uh, sit on our asses. Let's get money because we need a lot of money as Portugal at this state. Uh, you don't need to be manned anymore, my dear friend. So, yeah, we have finished our ship. Should be building another one soon enough. So with Jabal Tariq ours, we can go for the another one. Though I think the Castilians have it covered. I just want to get show strength peace deal. 100 each monarch points. I think that uh, explains it itself, right? An amazing way to finish a war. Especially about someone who's with someone who is about to die anyway, so that's good for us, I suppose. And yeah, there you go. Uh, war is finished. I, this is excellent. This is the best you can go. Would be nice to get humiliate rival, but that is something we intend for Morocco. Right now, we want those points. Hundred points of each group is amazing. It will allow us to get admin tech before Renaissance kicks in. Granada is of course no longer a valid rival for such a great state as myself. Aragon is though. And perhaps going to war with these guys has some merit. That's yeah, no not really. Let's keep on to the important part. Eh. We don't want to fight all these. This will be a difficult fight, to tell the truth. I'd love the f I'd love if Tunisians could have a difficult time fighting this. But uh, I don't have my hopes high. Well, this is cool to have a cardinal. And there's nothing that would prevent me from actually getting some good Pope action going. We can recall this guy and uh, get an ally it's it won't hurt us to have Tlamenken as our ally we can always make them lose some prestige and diplo rep when they dishonor the call to arms on some occasion which i'm sure will ha oh pity we lost the good guy well we'll have to rely on the nobility right for a cheap advisor so right now our priority is to get to tech 5 get idea group and go exploration another one perhaps so we see trade income has increased cons cons uh, considerably after building a marketplace we are the dominant trade power within the area, though the moment Castilians get tech 4, this will change and 
finally let's change it to no edict change culture because we don't need moroccan culture in our state at all excellent so tech four tech five soon and do we need that guy we don't really need him anymore don't get me wrong he's nice okay but uh is he that nice i think not we don't really need an inquisitor right now we will need after conquering tangiers um Perhaps Jolof will be out of this conflict. Should that be the case, we might actually make this work. If we have Castilians as our support in this matter. So, Renaissance changes everything. But with Tech 4 on our side, we could make it happen. Uh, let's improve relations. We'll need access through Granada. As odd as that might sound. Let's see Tech 3. So we'll be ahead tech-wise. And this will give us the necessary upper hand. Okay, so we have the tech advantage... Sorry, Pope, but uh, we have other priorities. And I have a feeling that this will require a defensive edict. As well as our navy. More focused and centered. <sighs> okay. Uh, ba -ba -pum. Right now we could wait and I think that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to get tech uh, you need uh, tech 7 in particular with Diplo because that is the level of tech that allows you to really uh, colonize far and beyond so is the time right time is not right yet we don't want Jolof in this conflict in the slices okay so Jolof is out Tunisia and Granada would be the case Tunisia won't quit Granada won't quit for sure so we might just as well get our navy organized, get Morocco, get that free admin point. Ah. Ah. As little details. Oh, I don't want to fight the French. I'm going to decline. And I'm going to get involved in this one. Jolof. And yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Let's... Uh, let's get our navy together. Because this will be painful. Okay, and <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This will make or break our start because it will allow us to get some points, humiliate rival, complete an objective and get some uh, money, which, which we need. So without further ado, let's go. Go to Granada, sink the fleets sink uh, excuse me sink moroccan fleets like here this instant i hope
Okay, uh, Jabal Tariq is our first target. We'll sink additional five Moroccan ships. Now we have a big army against us. I forgot to. <laughs> whoops! I forgot to call to arms Castile. That would have been uh, unfortunate. Luckily for us, Castilian army is pretty ridiculous at the early stage of the game due to the morale of armies 15% bonus which is equal to defensive this is crazy five ships sunk thank you and with castilian navy in our support i think uh, this means we are going to dominate the seas which is uh, quite important actually in this conflict Now, the thing is, I want to wait and take... Oh, I'm oh the, the Castilians won't wait. They will go to Tangiers and bleed against Moroccans and Tunisians while we could just have a fight at Ceuta, which would be far more beneficial. But at least I'm hoping they aren't interested in that particular piece of land well the moroccans will make them leave and i'll control this siege if they make it impossible for me to hold tangiers that will be a problem of course but let's let's hope for the best shall we perhaps oh this is a little risky so let's just stay and control the straits of gibraltar way too important to do so we could make an invasion and land in haha and those mountains it's next to a fort so that's a problem but it's a rather safe place this is actually a very nice province talifat tafilat excuse me gold producing and if the spanish decide to take this in a war that would suck I wanted to give them uh, Jabal Tariq, but perhaps that will be impossible. Unfortunate to say the least. Uh, right now we're not doing bad. Not bad at all. As you can see with power projection we get much more points out of uh, what we were capable of getting. And this sucks. This was a big mistake on my part. Let's hope they give us to me. Oh, they do. Bless you, uh, Castilians. This is exactly what I needed for this war. Nothing more, actually. Of course, we'll have to intervene in this. Oh uh, yes, Granada, you'd like uh, to peace out, right? But uh, that will not happen. What? What the hell? H how did we beat them so easily? I mean, usually as uh, as Portugal, I'd expect some problems fighting, but it appears this is not the case in this scenario. Odd indeed. Odd to say the least. Now, uh, the question is, can we peace out on favourable terms? Well, uh, that's, that's... That will require us to kick Tunisia out of this conflict. And... I see no reason why can't we actually go and uh, like uh, deal with them though we'll need to take Fez if I see correctly which might not be that easy after all uh, it is a mountainous stronghold difficult to take for our troops let's hope for the best Okay, I was for a moment I was terrified that uh, my king died, but there was no stability sound. 
I always confuse that uh, Holy Roman Empire noise with uh, the death of my king. I don't really know why, to tell the honest truth. All right, uh, we did raise the war taxes. Let's see how we fur with uh, a little ship blocking. This might be dangerous, so we'll have to see what the Tunisians decide to do, unless the Castilians have them under check, and yes, this isn't dangerous at all. Uh, some blockading should help. Now, Fez really is damn defensive. It's really hard to take. But we'll do it eventually. Now, here come Tunisians. Okay, this is nice. Let's see Siena how's the spread. It's not that good. We'd actually need a level 30 city. It could help. 10 per month. Spread modifier by... We could increase that. 1533, no way we're doing that. We'll wait a little longer. More power to the nobles. Bam. Do we need more power for no? We actually need more power for burgers. Always nice to get that little extra income, even if just for a moment, because it's going to back to normal. Oh. Why was it so obvious? I know, I know really what was I thinking. Uh, to lose our 454 guy and get a uh, retard. Which we can't disinherit because we don't have positive prestige. It's the usual, I suppose. The, the usual shenanigans. Uh, we don't want to insult Castile. And a half price advisor is something I'm looking forward to. We don't want a military advisor at this point. Uh, we are going straight into colonialism. Oh, Jesus, take it faster, please. After we're done with it, which is taking ages indeed. Defenders deserve. Oh, come on! Just take it already, cast you. Come on! Well, finally, thank you. Let's wait a few days so that the garrison recovers. And they are there. The parasites are. Let's just uh, get these guys out of the conflict. Because they do have 30k troops, right? You, you have to respect that number. Even if you don't like it. I wonder how many mercenaries. Oh, it's easy to check. No mercs. Interesting. Impressive. 20k troops out of Morocco. With force limit well the twenty exactly, so nothing that spectacular. Oh god, we'll need to get poor Tunisia out of this war and fight here sooner rather than later. Get these provinces under our control and get our war objective back because it might be a problem. Uh, 
how willing are they to give up? Not willing at all. Not sieging any forts doesn't really matter. Uh, this would be nice. Uh, but, but clergy loyalty. We don't need clergy loyalty right now. We can get some clergy loyalty. Get money. Get this. Perhaps this is the better option to choose. I'm not exactly sure. We'll need to check that out in the future. I suppose you can go here. There is a fort nearby, so we'll need to get something done over there sooner rather than later. All right, all right. Start moving home, boys. Because you will be needed. Okay, we can move over here. And uh, if this falls, this will be a pain in the ass to resiege. And definitely a problem. How are they doing this so fast, considering the fact that. Uh, thank you. Castile took ages to get these people under control. Yeah, Tangiers has fallen, but fear, fret not. This is the upper hand. It is not that bad, actually. Okay, ship. Ship's much cheaper. That's good, actually. Super peace. Finally, um, some money. War reps. Yeah, I think we can get war reps out of Tunisia, and war reps is something we are definitely aiming for. And this is looking rather good. The moment uh, Kef falls, we'll be able to take war reps, perhaps even something extra. And since these guys are moving away, we can just easily get here and into this area. Oh, our general has died. A pity. Now, this is risky, considering we have an idiot on the throne. But, uh, yeah, we won't definitely risk our king's life. He's way too valuable on that throne. This guy is acceptable. Nothing close to the guy we had before, but, uh, you know... You work with what you have, and Kef is done, that means that Tunisia is out. And we become far more wealthy from this deal. There is, of course, the majority of cash goes to Castile, which we need to have to respect. And, uh, yeah, right now, after we take that back again, I suppose this war will be over. But uh, let's half our troops and occupy two provinces at the same time. This should be good indeed. It's mountainous, so yeah, what can go wrong? Safe, safe land. And yeah, yeah, this is looking nice. I suppose, yeah, this culture is now ours, so this is excellent. Oh, this is a problem, I'm afraid, but, uh, yeah, national ideas, since we have uh, cheaper advisors, thank you, King, by the way. I'm going to keep that inquisitive for now, he'll be necessary to turn this to Christianity. Oh, this is a too big of a deal right now for you. Well, let's keep it modest, I suppose. Is the term. We move here into mountain, mountains. Marrakesh will be, of course, a challenge, but we'll rise to that challenge and take this mountainous fortress for ourselves with our new commander who's completely unfit to do anything near siege of course we're taking exploration as any good portuguese would we're waiting for our first colonists to colonize cape verde good, good for us we don't really need 
any soldiers for that. Actually, isolating Moroccans. Oh, we can't really isolate them. We need to stay as a singular fighting force. And I hope that uh, Castilians will be able to help us to win this fight because this is the bloodiest fight of the war and looks like we're going to lose. As expected, unfortunately. We can drop the money. We don't want to separately piece out Granada right now. Excellent, so uh, this is nice. And the fact that the Castilians can beat Moroccans is nicer still. Uh, this should allow us to take uh, this peace deal. And uh, everything we wanted. Tangiers. Uh, humiliation. War reps. Granada goes to Castile. Some money really you're, you're not interested in this perhaps this could go for you as well i'm just taking one province now i don't think my alliance will break because i have 55 trust so this should work surprisingly enough the castilians are disappointed regardless this is it this is our peace deal uh, excellent power projection as you can see uh, we don't need that fort in the slightest increase autonomy get all the armies over here do something about those navies protect some trade right Send these trade ships to Lisbona. These guys to Madeira. And I suppose, ladies and gentlemen, we couldn't ask for a better start. Because right now, the way I see it, we're going to core Tangiers. We are going to get 200 admin for the cost of 100 admin from this mission some prestige which is always valuable actually and uh can we afford this guy we're not we're bleeding money well why are we bleeding money actually army maintenance reinforcements really Re reinforcements that's it uh, local defensiveness is unnecessary. Enforcing religious unity will be far more helpful right now. It's 77 months still. So we nearly need that Inquisitor here. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end here. Uh, year is 1458. As much as we try, we couldn't start colonizing yet. Perhaps uh, we should have been more aggressive with our point management. Perhaps this will be a failure. But I hope that it won't. Of course, that's only hoping. We'll, we'll see how what future brings. And I think it will bring us a diplomat advisor. Anyway, thank you for your time. And see you again next time. Bye bye, Gaming Token Out.